Okay, it's, it's gonna time. Be a great mix, eh? right? It's time for the mix. Uh, this is a good one. We're starting with beard. This is nasty. Clean shaven. Yes. TJ. And you're... definitely after this story, I will forever yeah, be clean shaven. You're in the clear. Uh, so an, our ABC station, our sister station in um, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, KOAT, they did this study about beards and all of the Ugh. nastiness that is found in them. And I know that there are ladies out there that kind of dig their guy with a little facial hair, but you might yeah. not after this. Uh, several beards were tested, contained a lot of normal bacteria. Unfortunately, some of the beards were compared to toilets. <sighs> Toilet seat. That's, really? that's how dirty they were. There are some bacteria that are, you know, healthy and some that is not. Thing is, apparently, you know, our skin and everywhere is kind of covered in bacteria. Okay. But beards are especially nasty if you don't take care of them. You gotta wash them like you wash the rest of your this. skin. I don't know. I really buy this. I feel like it varies from person to person, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you're a disgusting person in general, your beard is going to be disgusting. I, just, I don't imagine a disgusting person with a super clean, kept up beard. You like the beard? You're, uh, you're getting married soon. Does your guy have a beard? No beard. No, no facial beard. hair. Okay. No so after this, hair. he will not have one. No. No. Um, all right. Well, I'm turning to another guy who's got a beard. We don't know how nasty his beard might be, but it, because he has this beard, he bears a striking resemblance. You see that guy? Does he remind you all of anybody? The guy there in the middle. I, you know, I wouldn't have guessed this I would riding on the subway. Yeah. I would not either. But you're seeing a guy by the name of Robert Reynolds. He's 33 years old. He was riding the train, the G train in Brooklyn, and somebody snapped a picture of him and said he bared a striking resemblance to that guy, Vincent Van Gogh, the famous painter. Well, he didn't know that somebody snapped a picture and put it online, and it kind of took on a life of its own. When he found out about it, he then, well, he decided to have a little fun with it. He put on the whole getup to make sure he looked like. Now, in that picture, okay, dead ringer. But yeah, he's playing the part, though. He sent yeah, a picture. This is it. Yeah, Reddit, you're awesome. Okay, Thanks for making that. him famous. He's famous now. But okay, I. Uh, okay, that side by side comparison is pretty good. I wouldn't have put it together on my own. Yeah. But that beard is probably nasty, too, right? I'm, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. <laughs> BK, um, BK, I'm I, just I don't assuming. Know. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so how much of a dude do you think he is? Uh, that's a big question today with this new new website. How? What's your dude barometer, I what, guess? What does that even mean? I don't know, but we'll show you. So it's this new website. You take a picture, and then it rates how much of a dude you are. So Ben Stiller apparently is 65% dude. Um, so basically it goes through, and it rates at how dude me. Um, what does that what, mean? Is that Kanye? Yeah. He's, he, is he 96% dude? TJ, yeah. is he 99? I can't see the graphic. Is well, it 99% dude? How much dude? 99% dude. Oh, and it says one of the good ones. You're what one of the good ones. What does that even mean?